Good morning. And this is the day the Lord has given us to live and glorify him. Let us spend the first few minutes meditating on God's word which will be our guide and our strength for through this day. In hell there is no light and in heaven there is no darkness. We who have given our life to Jesus Christ will live in heaven with Jesus Christ and his light and glory. One of the first acts of God is to separate light from darkness. The first thing God made in his recreation exercise was to create light. Remember the words in the first chapter of Genesis where it says in the beginning God created the heaven and earth. And the earth was formless and empty. And the darkness covered the surface of the deep. What was urgently needed was light. So the creator said, let there be light. And there was light. One of the first acts of God in the creation was to separate light from darkness. In the above quoted passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 14 to 16, there is a list of five things on one side and five things on the other side. And then he says, there is no relationship between these two lists. Let us first see the list. Righteousness against lawlessness. Light against darkness. Christ against Satan. Faith against unbelief. The house of God against false worship. Here are two lists of opposing uh, things. Paul's question was, what relationship one has with the other? The answer is obvious, none. The question is, which side do you want to be? You want to be with the heaven side or you want to be in hell's, on hell side? If your answer is the heaven side, then listen carefully. You have to embrace righteousness, light, Christ, faith, and the house of God. Right, righteousness must be uh, your way of uh, life, uncompromisingly. Light, Christ, and uh, faith must be held together and pursue with your whole heart, soul, and spirit. Nothing else and no one else. Your heart cannot be shared with anyone else, but Christ alone and walk in the light by faith and the one place you want to be will be the house of God in Psalm number 27 verse 4 it says one thing I ask of the Lord and that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of God all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. You see, Psalmist, one greatest desire to keep on gazing the beauty of God. Where? In his temple, in his house. And David was a great lover of not only worship, but the, but the house of God, the temple as well, where the worship is done. And after giving this list, Apostle Paul states that you cannot mix these two lists. 
And many are trying to mix these two lists. And uh, they try to live, therefore, a double life. On Sunday, they act like saints. And other days of the week, they are available to the devil as well. And they end up in hell. And that's how we have so many Sunday Christians only. Sunday comes, they feel like acting like saints. But my friends, for a child of God who believe in Jesus Christ, it doesn't ma matter, it doesn't make any difference whether you are living in on Sunday or Monday or through the week, it doesn't make any difference. What you are on Sunday, you should be on other days as well. And let us not forget this. And uh, God does not send anyone into hell. Neither is it his will for anyone to perish. So he makes his way very clear. His requirements and his standard also absolutely clear. What he does not do is, he does not choose or decide for you. Neither does he force his will on you. He lets you to choose for yourself by exercising your freedom to choose and think and decide. The devil is just the opposite. He comes to steal and to destroy and kill. And he forces his way into your life. He is like a thief. He breaks open the door and come in. The time before us is very short. Jesus Christ is coming very soon, my friends. He is coming for the people who walk in righteousness and who walk in the light of God's word and his command. By faith, you walk and whose desire is to enjoy his presence constantly. Always remember therefore my dear brothers and sisters, those of you who are listening to me, the time before us is very short to get right with God and to begin to walk righteously before God. He is coming soon, he is, he, is, he is right at the door. And please do not wait for another day to be reconciled with God and set things right with God. Choose that Joshua challenged the Israelites by saying, Choose this day whom will you serve? If Jehovah God is the real one living God, then follow him. But if Baal is your God, and that's what you believe, he is God, then follow him. But I and my household, we will serve the Lord. Now here is, that is a choice that he made, not God on the basis of God's requirements and standard. And this is what we need to do, my friends. Choose. Choose life or death. And God himself said, I set before you two ways. One way will lead you to death, another way will lead you to life. But the choosing is left to you. And once you choose, God gives His grace. 
if you choose the way that lead to heaven to life and i pray that you make the right choices in your life based on god's word and his principles and i pray that you will decide and 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 uh, choose to walk with the lord in his light and by faith and the christ is exalted and i pray that god will grant you his grace and his wisdom to make you a choice and make the right choice in jesus name amen god bless you my friend as you live this day enjoy your life by the grace of god amen